One of the most notable and powerful voices in Charlotte's battle for racial justice is a young man in his teens. He is an honor student and an activist, and he will be part of a town hall event that will air tomorrow night right here on Channel 9. The moderator for that event, Janine Davis of V101.9, set out to find what drives him. There are so many young black activists who are in Charlotte. True, but this young black activist stands out from the rest, not just because of his height, 6'4", by the way, but because of the name he's making for himself. It's Righteous. Literally, his name is Righteous Kit. According to Webster's, it says it means morally right, arising from an outraged sense of justice or morality. Is that you? Um, I, I'm not sure if I can say that's completely me. I think my, mainly I try to, I, I've always recognized my name and recognize that there are some things that a righteous just should not be doing. Um, <laughs> and I want to make sure that I, I can uphold it to the best that I can. Before even graduating from Philip O'Berry High School last year, with honors, he started a nonprofit, Bags for Bagless, to help Charlotte's homeless population. And he was president of the Charlotte Mecklenburg Youth Council. Now, he's emerging as a young leader in Charlotte's peaceful protest scene. No peace. Hey guys, my name is Righteous Kit. We need radical change. We need effective change, and we haven't gotten that ever since I was nine. I can remember black people being shot on camera and those videos going viral and then nothing happening. Since I was, that's, that was 10 years ago. So I, I understand that that there has been a, a, a change in how things were, but we can take that change and we can go much further. When uptown businesses were targeted during protests earlier this year, he took it upon himself to print and post these signs for the ones with black owners. And after looters hit this black owned jewelry store, he decided to do something more. They suffered $15,000 in damages. And after two weeks, um, we had successfully raised that $15,000 back. So, wow. Yes, ma'am. So, how does it make you feel? I, I think that it, it go, it's a testament to show how, how much work we can actually put in and how much this movement and how many people care about this movement. As much as he's done already, at age 19, Righteous Kit is just getting started. He's a rising sophomore at UNC Chapel Hill, where he's double majoring in political science and public policy. What does change look like to you? I think that change comes on many platforms. We have been fighting for the bare minimum, which is to say that our lives matter. In the 60s, they fought for the bare minimum, which was to vote. That, that was, that's, that's what we continuously fight for. We, we don't need to be fighting for that anymore. We need to be fighting for more. And if people aren't willing to change, they have to move. They have to get out the way because this message that Black Lives Matter is important. Again, Righteous Kit will be a part of that live town hall event tomorrow. And incoming CMPD chief Johnny Jennings will also be participating. And Janine Davis will be the moderator. The event is called Talking About Race and Police Reform, airing tomorrow night at 7 p.m. right here on Channel 9.